When you look at foreign policy, because she played a major role in the Trump administration, obviously the ambassador to the UN, and you look at these foreign conflicts that are front and center, there is a significant debate, as you know, Martha, we've been reporting on it here within the Republican Party over uh, what to do with Ukraine, uh, how much money to continue to spend on them. That, at the same time as we watch the, the war with Hamas, Israel's war with Hamas, continue to play out. Uh, and this will be something that he will likely be able to, to, to create some daylight with Nikki Haley on. Uh, he sure will, and, and especially on Ukraine, but more so with Joe Biden. And, and look, you look at the numbers, people, foreign policy is by far not at the top of the concerns for most voters. And then the polling we did tonight and the exit polling we did tonight and polling we've done before, foreign policy is way down there, except for one thing. And that is, as you said, and that we've been reporting on the war in Gaza, young voters do not like what Joe Biden is doing. They do not like to see the support for Israel and, the, and what has happened in Gaza. And they see every single day on social media and elsewhere and on our newscast what's happening in Gaza and the number of women and children. And that, that could be a problem for Joe Biden. And that's something Donald Trump, uh, if he is the nominee, will certainly use against Joe Biden. As well. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.